living full time in our motorhome and neither one of us has a job. In this video, I'm gonna explain how we do that. Both Wendy and I uh, retired early from our jobs. Um, I ran a small business and Wendy worked at a pharmacy and way back in well, about 2014 and 15 um, I closed the business and um, Wendy went very very part-time working one day a week but since we decided to sell up everything and go full time in this wonderful auto trail Comanche traveling around the UK and Europe people have wondered well how exactly do you earn a living or are you just living on savings so I thought I'd just uh, put on the vlog exactly how we're managing to do this because it you know there's a lot of people that want to do this want to know if it's possible for them um, and how it can be done now some of you might have seen some of the videos where I talk about being a digital nomad and that what that means is my career has been based in uh, the IT industry so more um, more towards the end of when I was in business I would build websites for people for small businesses do a bit of um, online marketing for people show them how to get their websites and their social media found more easily so that they could attract clients and and so on so I still have a little bit of that going on I don't do too much of it but I do um, build websites for people uh, on occasion and I do still update some websites for some old clients as well and uh, I charge for that work so that allows us to do a bit I do have a, um, a small bit of income from a pension uh, and more recently we've uh, since we started the um, the YouTube channel for the happy travelers people asked us for stickers and other merchandise like mugs and t-shirts and stuff like that and we do sell those so if you're um, thinking about that you might want a, a coffee mug or a, uh, a t-shirt or something like that that's available on the happy travelers TV forward slash shop so we have a shop there where you can go and order um, order a coffee mug or a t-shirt or you know a set of six coffee mugs why not um, we make a little bit of money out of that when you order it I also write uh, little articles that go on to a platform called vocal.media and we get paid uh, a little bit of money when people read those so I would encourage you all of you to pop over to my vocal uh, dot media site that's vocal dot media forward slash Steve authors forward slash Steve hyphen council I'll put a I'll put a link in the um, description below and that should be up on screen now so you can go and read the articles that I'm writing just recently started doing that over the last uh, few weeks um, there's should be three articles up and another one just about to be released uh, all about sort of um, the things that I am passionate about or care about things like motorhoming um, traveling around Europe photography and some of the other stuff to come is how to make vlogs uh, how to take better photographs and you know that sort of stuff and and what it's like to live in a motorhome uh, a sort of broad range of stuff but all the things that I'm interested in so um, please go and read those it doesn't cost you anything to read um, just a bit of your time uh, and we get a little bit of money if you really like it 
you can give us a little tip too in terms of cash um, so, we, you know, just to repay us for our time. Uh, we also get the ad revenue from these videos that we put up. And, yeah, we've often, well, we've often been asked a question about ad revenue on YouTube. And more recently, like last week, I think, somebody put in the comments, does the ad revenue... You know, the little ad you see before the video starts and maybe if you stay to the end, there's another one at the end. Um, somebody actually asked, does that ad revenue pay all of our camping fees for a year? Well, if only, <laughs> was my answer, really. And um, we, we get literally tenths of a penny for each ad that runs um, we some some people that do these vlogs run ads in the middle and I think that that just in, increases the opportunity to get ad revenue um, but we've decided that that that's like really too intrusive and I don't ever intend to run mid vlog ads so you know as I'm speaking there might be a gap and then an ad would run i, I really think think that's intrusive and and the pre-roll as they call them the pre-roll ads and the post-roll ads are plenty um sure we get um we get a bit of money out of that and that does really help um we've got all these little sort of income streams that add up over time to um allow us to do what we do now uh, you know we have been um, we have had some people on the comments uh, sort of really uh, criticizing us for um, publishing articles and expecting to get in get paid for that well well why wouldn't we I put a lot of time and effort into creating these blogs um and spend time writing i'm not a natural author although i'm getting better at it and i and i think you'll see that if you go and read those on um vocal.media you'll find me over there and you'll and you'll see the style of writing it's a very conversational thing but i'm getting better but why shouldn't we get paid for that it, it just you know i'm not as good as jk rowling but you know, my fingers take the same effort to type. And I'm hoping that those articles create some value for you, as as well as these vlogs. You know, what we try to do every day with these vlogs is create a little bit of value in terms of information that you 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 want or need, like fitting the locks to the the cab doors um that i'm hoping that creates a bit of value in terms of knowing how to do it how easy things are or how difficult they can be and when we're not doing that we're hoping that we provide you with value through entertainment and people have even criticized us for that in terms of you know why should we why should we pay you any money um to watch your videos and we don't ask you to um and i don't i don't think we're ever going to ask you to you know unless unless life gets to a position where it it just has to be done but even then you'd pay for something like sky tv or netflix or amazon prime that provide entertainment and if if we were if we turned this channel and I, this is not a warning to say that we are if it was an entertainment channel and you were seriously entertained every day by it why wouldn't you want to pay you know those are my sort of thoughts on the digital nomad thing and for sure um i've got some other bits and pieces going where i am creating some videos that that turn into a training course so you know you can come and watch uh and pay 
to get onto the training course and the videos will walk you through a, a particular subject um you know and i've got a few of those ideas in mind like how to, how to how to take photographs in a better way how to make these vlogs how to build a website and that that sort of thing the the knowledge and skills that i have i'm turning those into little mini training courses and and selling those so you know i'm that's that's how we are managing uh in terms of financial which i know a lot of people have been interested in so i hope that explains it um in a sort of nice way i know money can be a bit of an emotive subject especially when there's people out there calling people like us e-beggars and i don't i don't think we are we're not you know we're not asking you to pay us money for nothing and we're not asking you to pay us money we get our money through you just watching and enjoying and getting value out of out of the content and we really really appreciate that we're seeing the viewing figures like increase um over time more subscribers and by the way if you haven't subscribed yet please do um that really helps us to know that we're doing the right thing and if you get a chance just click the share button below this video and share it out on social media so that more people that might be interested can see the sort of stuff that we do and we can provide them with a bit of value as well thanks so much for watching we'll see you again soon bye bye for now